Hey guys, today I wanted to show you my entire wash and style routine for damp styling. I've partnered up with Twist by Weedad for today's video to show you my damp styling. And what I love about Twist is they have three different curly hair lines for every single curly hair need you could ever possibly think of because we all know one size fits all is not the case when it comes to curly hair products and they make it super easy to pick the product for you with the detailed description on the very front of each product plus those little moisture droplets that you see there showing you just how moisturizing each product is so to start out my damp styling i am going to wet my hair and then i'm going to shampoo with the on repeat shampoo by twist and the shampoo is super hydrating, so it is great for drier scalps. With curly hair shampoos, you're going to want to make sure you are really massaging it in to get that clean that you need. And then when you rinse, you're also going to want to massage to make sure you get all of that shampoo out. Then I'm going to use the Gimme It All conditioner from Twist. I know that a conditioner is going to be really good when it is thick like this one. Then I'm going to apply it just to the length of my hair. My hair tends to get weighed down if I apply it to the top of my hair. So I just smooth it over and then kind of scrunch it in. And then I'm going to split my hair onto either side and apply a little bit more of this conditioner. Then I am going to detangle. You want to make sure you're using a conditioner that has a lot of slip, which means it makes it easy to detangle. Then I like to twist my hair like that. And as you can see that white, that is what tells me that I have enough conditioner in my hair. Then I'm going to do the same thing on the other side. This conditioner by Twist has a ton of slip and does a great job at hydrating. Then I'm going to twist my hair up and put it in a claw clip and continue on with the rest of my shower. Now I am done with the rest of my shower, so it is time to get ready to rinse the conditioner out. So I flip my head over and brush my hair down before I start to rinse. If you guys have watched any of my other videos, you know that I love applying my products to my hair flipped upside down. So I will just brush my hair like this until it is super smooth as you can see. Then I will turn the water on cold and rinse it out. So how you rinse it out is totally up to you. If you want smaller, more defined curls, you're going to want to rake. If you want bigger curl clumps, then I suggest you smooth like I'm doing here with the hairbrush. So I'm actually going to rinse for very briefly because I want to leave some of that conditioner in my hair. So then I turn off the water and I'm going to start to scrunch. So when I scrunch, I just gently bring that hair up to my scalp and squeeze. And you can see that when I squeeze, there's a little bit of white coming out. That means there is still conditioner in my hair. I want to leave that, some of that conditioner in to serve as kind of a leave-in conditioner. So I just keep doing that and you can see that white, that means there's still con some conditioner in my hair. That is exactly what I want. That's going to give my hair some extra moisture. So I just keep doing that and there, until there is no more water coming out and these are the little curl clumps. So now I am going to plot my hair for roughly 30 minutes. If you want to see a full tutorial on how I plot my hair and why I have a video on that linked in the description down below and over on my channel. 
So after about 30 minutes, I will take out the plop. I like to leave the plop in just long enough to get dressed and do my makeup. So now I'm going to be using the Weather Up Gel by Twist. This is a super lightweight gel. It is also really buildable, which is super nice. So I take about a quarter sized amount and then flip my head forward and scrunch that in very gently. The great thing about damp styling and also this gel specifically is that it's going to cut down on the drying time than if you would be applying your products to soaking wet hair. So then I flip my head over to the side. And as you can see, I'm kind of zhuzhing my roots just to make sure there is no hair sticking to my scalp. Then I'm going to apply another roughly quarter size amount of gel to my hair, rubbing it between my hands and then scrunching it in. Then I flip my head over to the other side and do the exact same thing. Taking a quarter size amount of the Weather Up gel and scrunching it in. And for whatever reason, I was brushing this scrunching and was kind of rough. I don't really know what I was doing. As you can see, there's a little bit of frizz and that's because I was being too rough with the scrunching. So if you see this happening, just take a little bit more gel, smooth it over and scrunch it in. Then I'm going to take the t-shirt towel that I was using and scrunch out the last of the moisture that my hair is holding on to. Then I like to take a little claw clip to pin up the top for volume while I air dry. This helps add volume and just keeps my hair out of my face. So I'm going to air dry and then show you guys my results. And here are my finished results. Super voluminous, super just really natural looking. And it took about half the amount of time to dry that my hair normally does with the soaking wet styling. So thank you guys so much for watching. I have the twist products linked in the description down below and also a discount code for you. Thank you guys so much for watching. Like I said, make sure to like and subscribe and I'll see you again soon.